Well, hello there! I'm the Cozy Platypus and I love stories. But enough about me. Welcome to my channel. How are you doing today? In that case, I have just the thing to cheer you up because today we are playing day two of Stardew Valley. So grab a cozy blanket and a warm drink of your choice and let's play. you missed my last video or you just need a refresher today we are playing with sage she loves all things herby and planty and she has a special soft spot for animals i wouldn't call her the bubbly type but more reserved she loves the idea of spending hours and hours on her farm with no one bugging her and i don't know about you but i can relate i would love to have a little homestead i watch those videos and i just like i want all the animals give me the goats give me some ducks i don't know about chickens because they're a little bit scary they're like baby dinosaurs they'll eat each other and stuff so i don't know about that but ducks ducks are adorable they make lots of eggs and from what i've heard they're a little bit better to manage than chickens are a little baby mini sheep even come on i mean who doesn't want that and to grow my own food would be an absolute treat that would be amazing all right i see we have some seeds oh we also have a quest here let's talk to martin i'm really curious what your favorite villager is in stardew who do you marry who do you who do you make friends with first let me know in the comments below i'd i love to have a chat about all of our favorite little villagers now i have a mod that adds a bunch of new crops and flowers and stuff to the game and as you can see here there's a lot of different options which i love it also has these spinach seeds in it and they're only ten dollars for a seed which is fantastic i can actually buy some that way and get some money a little bit quicker i've also discovered that they sell for 35 a piece so it's a really good crop especially when you're first starting out okay let's go get our fishing rod hello willie welcome back from your fishing trip what you got for me ahoy there miss heard there was a newcomer in town good to finally meet ya finally saved enough to buy me a new rod here i want you to have my old fishing rod oh yeah sage is about to become a fisher lady i'll also buy anything you catch if it smells it sells <laughs> that's what my old puppy used to say anyway all right i'm gonna put my extra stuff in my back in my chest at home and i'm gonna fish some so we can get some extra cash to have i sucked at this mini game when i first started and it it throws me every time how tiny the bar is and how easy it is to fail at these fishing because once you start playing for a while not too long before it gets a little bit easier when your skill goes up um, so those early days always throw me and i always have to like relearn how to fish all over again but i think we're just gonna fish long enough to catch the three sardines that we need for this first quest that we got if you haven't seen it yet the 1.6 update that came out also came out with a new feature that is like reward tickets for completing quests uh you get one every third quest that you complete i believe it is and then you can cash them in at a little kiosk in uh, mayor lewis's house and you can get some pretty good stuff you start out getting i think carrot seeds and then you get a tree of some kind and just a lot of really good items so we're definitely going to prioritize getting those quests finished so we can see all of that good stuff. I think Sage really connects with the appeal of a quiet fishing moment. She's alone with the ocean around her, with nature, catching her little fish buddies. It's just, I think that's just her vibe, you know? She doesn't like to be around people all the time. She loves this little town. She loves the community aspect. She likes those deep connections with other people. But sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta sit back and let your line fly out in the water, wait for that fish to come. She loves the waiting, the, the time it takes to, to get your fish to catch that line, the time to contemplate. It would be so cool if in Stardew we could have pets that followed us around and would just travel with us and they could just like sit next to us while we're fishing. I think that'd be cool. Of course, that might be late game. I don't know. I've played a few hundred hours of stardew valley i love this game but i have never made it to end game 
I got the community center finished. I've gotten to Ginger Island, but I have not really made it past the full like Ginger Island. I have I've not gotten to the point of enchanting things. I know that exists, but I've not gotten to that point yet. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using this playthrough as a way to explore all of the both new content and in-game content that I haven't seen yet. I've only played, I think, up until year two in one save because I am really bad about finishing things and I get bored and then I start over because the community center is fun, early game is fun, building relationships is fun, but I think it'd be really cool to try to get perfection or as close to perfection as we can on the save and I don't know, just explore everything that Stardew Valley has to offer. Also, leave it in the comments. How many hours do you have logged in Stardew Valley? Have you played this game before? If you have, what is your hour count on your, your Steam or whatever it is that you have you play Stardew through? How many hours have you played in this game? Please leave it in the comments. I want to know. I'll check and see how many hours I have and I will put it in the description below and then we can compare. All right, well, I like to keep at least one of every fish that I catch because you never know. You have community bundles that will, you will need some of them for. And then the rest, honestly, you get quests for like herrings and stuff a lot, especially early game. I've noticed a few of those. So just having one on hand is really nice for, for getting quests finished quickly and not having to go on a scavenger hunt to complete quests. Also, I'm a little bit of a hoarder in this game. So I do like to keep everything because you never know. Like, I don't know when I'll need it again. Uh, we have to greet Marnie and make sure that we can get to two hearts because we will need it to get the mayor's purple shorts when that quest drops in a couple weeks, probably. The mayor's purple shorts, i.e. his purple uh, special lucky underwear, are in Marnie's bedroom. Yeah, but no one is allowed to know for reasons that are a mystery to the entire Stardew Valley community. It'd be nice if there was some progression of storyline in that sense that was just like, Mayor Lewis just kind of got over himself and eventually just marries Marnie and they move in together and it's great and like, you know, justice for Marnie, honestly. There are mods, I think, that, that do some form of that, but I could not find one that was updated for 1.6. Okay, let's plant our spinach and some more parsnips. Also, for the new farm type, the Meadowlands farm, the first quest is to get eggs instead of to grow parsnips. And your second quest after that is to build a silo. Um, so the order of things is a little bit different. I found that for that quest for the silo, it's like your, your second main quest in this farm type. Uh, the clay is the hardest thing to find for it. It's hard to get 10 pieces of clay right out of the gate. We need to go see if we can find some more forageables to be able to sell, maybe to use for some food when we're low on energy. I really love the way that Stardew Valley expanded, kind of redoes the layout for this area. I love having this little designated section where you can find some more forageables. It's easy to get lost in here, so it kind of feels a lot more like a forest. I remember like my first save, you know, base game, just trying to play it as it was intended first time through, right? And I got really confused when people were talking about Cinder Snap Forest. I was like, where's this forest that everyone is talking about? And finally figured out that it was just that little section by the pond. And I was like, oh, that's a forest. <laughs> it's so small. So I really like that about Stardew Valley Expanded. I mean, don't get me wrong, no shade at all to the base game. The base game is fantastic. We love it. This game is amazing, especially considering it was made by a single programmer. I mean, I don't know about you, but I would not be able to do that. Anyway, this section is really great. Uh, makes it a little bit more challenging too because you genuinely, you can get lost in here. I have gotten lost multiple times, especially when it gets dark like this and then you don't know where you're going and you don't know where the exit is and then you end up passing out. It's happened before. And I think we're gonna go ahead and head home before we pass out. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me again. Uh, this was a blast. I have a lot of fun doing this. I love Stardew, as I'm sure a lot of you do as well. So tomorrow in game, we'll have a rainy day. We won't have to water our crops, which is 
fantastic and uh we'll just see what kind of mischief we'll get into all right well thank you for hanging out with me today i had a blast and i hope you did as well hopefully next time we can take full advantage of our lovely rainy day and see what kind of mischief we can get into uh right now we're playing stardew and i've also been playing some sims 4 if you'd like to check that out but i plan to start incorporating even more cozy games soon so please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and want to see more but until then i hope you have an awesome day